I learned how strong I am. I learned the power of resilience, power of faith, power of positivity. I learned that if I can get through this, I can get through almost anything. To be honest, I didn't even know what PVR was. I didn't understand any of the medical terminology. All I knew was that I couldn't see out of my eye and my retina kept attaching and the best doctors were looking at it and they couldn't figure it out and I couldn't see. So proliferative vitreo retinopathy, or PVR, is a condition that occurs after retinal detachment surgery. It's characterized by scar tissue that grows on the retina, and the scar tissue causes the retina to detach again. In fact, PVR is the number one cause of failure after retinal detachment surgery. I woke up one morning, and it was a typical normal morning, and all of a sudden I noticed a blob in the corner of my left eye. By lunchtime, it was, I couldn't see out of half of my eye. And at that point, I was like, I need to go to the doctor. The doctor looked at my eye, he's like, your retina detached, you need to be in emergency surgery tomorrow morning. And the scariest part for me was that they wanted me to be awake during all of it. So not only did I have a bunch of surgeons operating on my eye, my, I had to be awake and my eyes had to be open. All the doctors said the chances of this happening in the first place were so rare, the chances of it happening again were extremely rare. That 10% of eyes that develop retinal detachment will experience PVR, but if you have surgery for PVR, you then have about a 50% chance of needing an additional operation. And out of those eyes that need an additional operation, 50% of those will need another operation. I had a gas bubble in my eye at this point. My understanding is the gas bubble is like a cast. So it works to keep the retina flat as it's healing. During the post-operative period, the patient has to keep their head down for several days. And that's because we put oil or gas in the eye and you need to have face down positioning in order for the retina to stay reattached. That's very difficult, as you can imagine. You can sit up to eat, get dressed, go to the bathroom, take your eye drops, but for a period of days, you have to keep your face down, except for those activities. So I had my bubble and I was being paranoid and I was checking, checking, checking. And I was like, oh my God, dad, I think it detached again. I was right, it detached again. Unfortunately, there are no other options other than surgery. We can't offer them anything else. There's no medication that's approved for this. There's no surgery that's guaranteed to work. Uh, this is an unmet need in our field. So I'm about to get my second surgery. Of all the surgeries, this was the most painful surgery because they had to go into my eye and put this metal band. And they refused to give me painkillers because normally with this type of surgery, you're not supposed to have pain. It was the most painful night of my entire life. Poor dad was under strict instructions to give me my drops. So he was like trying to open my eye. I was crying because it was so painful. But if he didn't give me my drops, it would have gotten infected and it was just a mess. <laughs> I think about three weeks after my third surgery, it's attached again. There is something so unnerving and so scary when you see one of the best doctors in front of you look at you with a look of they don't know what to do. And he said, I think we're gonna pass you on to another doctor, which was Dr. Elliot. He said, Dr. Elliot is one of the best in the world and we want you to go up to Boston. And I was living in Virginia at the time. So surgery clearly is not an optimal treatment for this condition. So we've developed a drug that we think might work. The drug, ADX2191, is both an anti-inflammatory and it's an anti-proliferative, means that it prevents cells from dividing. In fact, it's a chemotherapeutic agent. It's used in cancer patients. This drug is injected into the eye at the conclusion of PVR surgery, 
and a patient needs multiple injections during the post-operative period. And we're hoping that this drug prevents the scar tissue from regrowing and prevents the retina from redetaching and therefore prevents the eye from going blind. And I was like, okay, sign me up. What, what do I have to lose? Danielle is very intelligent and she understood that this was an off-label treatment, that this was not approved by the FDA, and that we were trying to do something that could potentially help, but that we couldn't offer any guarantees. And I remember that time, honestly, like not sure if I'd ever be able to see out of that eye. Now, I feel like I can do anything.